Matt and I are in Yellowstone National Park and uh, today is the uh, third Wednesday of the month and tomorrow will be the third Thursday and the importance of that is the first and the third Wednesday and Thursday of each month Amron nets are held. On Wednesday it's the uh, digital net and on uh, Thursday it's the voice net and in the background you might be able to hear um, digital uh, communications with the um, I'm using the new Texan PL880 and I'm hoping that um, well the net starts in about hour and a half so I'm just double checking um, equipment and hopefully we'll be able to participate in the net from Yellowstone National Park while we're on the road now one of the things that I try and practice as much as possible is real-time mobile uh, communications and I'll tell you it's a challenge. It's actually a great exercise. So I take my gear with me when I'm on road trips and traveling. You, you always run into some little snag that you learn from and uh, on this particular trip uh, I had switched uh, laptop computers because of a software and hardware problem, so I'm on a new computer. Turns out I did not have FL Digi downloaded on this laptop yet. I hadn't finished setting it all up. So um, we are at the West Thumb Village in Yellowstone. And I, I found a 3G signal, so quickly downloading and installing um, FL Digi. Um, I was a little worried I would not be able to pick up the um, um, communications from Yellowstone, but this little Texan is doing an awesome job. You can probably hear that in the background. Um, so I'm hoping that if I get FL Digi downloaded and installed, that um, in an hour and a half we'll be able to participate in the Amron digital net. Now this will be the uh, pre-T-Rex um, net, so it should be interesting. I'm not going to be able to do all the authentication because we'll be further down the road heading to Jackson, Wyoming for this evening and I suspect that where we pull over to listen in on the net I will not have um, uh, internet access but I will send all my information to uh, the guys at Amron um, as soon as we get to Jackson and let them know at least what I was able to achieve uh, here in Yellowstone. Now, um, I'm just experimenting with this radio and it's gotten some great reviews. Um, it's very small, it fits in my briefcase. It's gonna be part of my uh, Ready Go kit and I'll do a little review on that later on, but so far I'm pretty pleased. I, I, there's a number of things I like about it, but I've mentioned this in my preparedness, uh, monthly preparedness brief. Um, in the past and when you're selecting a radio it doesn't have to be this one by any means but some features that you want to look for especially if you're interested in preparedness communications not just picking up your local AM FM radio during a disaster but if you want to participate in um, preparedness communications you absolutely have to have single sideband capability and I think you also want to have the capability to plug in a shortwave long wire antenna. Um, this one is doing really good right now, just the extendable antenna, but that extra capability of having the ability to plug in a long wire is critical and I think a useful feature. So for sure single sideband and for sure look for a radio that you can plug in a shortwave long wire antenna. Now if that doesn't have to be a deal breaker for you because you can get and also make long wire antennas with a little alligator clip and just clip that to the end of your um, extendable antenna but um, you want to look for those features. All right I'm going to finish downloading FL Digi and um, I'm pretty pleased I just turned the radio on I'm suspecting this is the Amron guys in their pre-net um, digital communications so if I get FL Digi up and running, we'll certainly sample that, but um, things are looking good so far, so let's see what happens later on. Um, it'll be 
0030 UTC or local here Mountain Daylight Time it'll be 1830 hours and that's on Wednesday so let's see what happens.